Hello everyone, this is Shishi, and today I'm coming on to do the next installment of the bookmarker series. I hope I can keep it up and make some more characters. So this is what we're making today. It's the little panda bear. He's so adorable. So this is what he looks like, and he holds on to your paper so cute. So this is what he looks like. So let's get started today. What you'll need is a strip of cardstock and width cut at one and a half inches. You can make it as long as you like, but just one and a half inches. You'll need your mini alphabet punch board. Okay. And we will start just like the other. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description box below if you want to make the teddy bear but we will round the corners at the top just like that and just like this okay this is what you get go to the top punch and punch now you will need some additional punches if you like you'll need some black cardstock for the ears and the eyes and the paws Okay, this is what we have so far. Okay. And let's see. I'm going to set that to the side. Now I use this punch that I got from Hobby Lobby for my eyes and ears. So I use these two punches, this one for the ears and this one for the eyes. Well, part of the eyes and then I had another little punch that I did for the nose and then I just kind of trimmed it down to make it into a nose shape and it was just like a, a hole punch and I just used the negative piece that comes out and then the googly eyes I'll show you what size I used looks like that and for the paws I use this from the paws. Okay, and for the paws, I'm going to make that black cardstock. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is make a little bit of shading just for some parts of the body. It's right here. You'll just need four paws. Okay, that's for just the top part of the body. And then we'll also do for the lower part of the body. Like right in here. It's a little bit of shading to give it a little bit of character to make it look like a little panda bear. I think that should be enough. Okay. And I use memento. You can use whatever ink you like. Alright. Now... I am going to do just a slight bit of embossing for the ears. This just helps a little bit. And I'll just give it a little bit of glue. And the ears does not have to be really big. Just stick out just a little bit. Panda bear's ears are not too big. So this is what I have. That's 
it looks like so far. Now for the eyes, it has like little dark circles, but I want it to be just a little bit of a curve. So I'm going to get my scissors here and just do a little bit of shaping. So I am going to take them and put them together and just trim it with my scissors. You can freehand it or just leave them round if you're not confident in your skills at using the scissors to give it some shape. Okay. And then I'm just going to round it just a little bit more. And then that's the eyes of the panda. So I'm just going to give it some glue right about here. Right about here. Okay, and now I'm going to glue on the little googly eyes. Alright, and then the nose. I should have my quick stick for this. <laughs> Okay, we're going to glue on the little paws. Let's give it a little bit of glue. Not too much. Because you could glue it down. So you just want to give it just enough so that you can cover up the um, the book page.
Cricut. <clears throat> okay. I'll just put a little bit of this glue. I had poured too much. <clears throat> Time to dry. And then for the final touch, get a pen. We'll just draw on a little detail. Uh, zoom in so you can see the drawing of the detail. I'm going to draw. I mean, it's not perfect, but just a little mouth. <clears throat> Give them a little smirk. So here are the finished panda bears. I hope to come back with some more characters. We'll see if we can do a series on this. So have fun making these for your kids or you know at the young at heart you know if you have some adults that might like little panda bears so take care everyone and have a fabulous day